Hey everyone, so this weekend I'm actually competing myself in a team competition called County Cup. I'm representing my county, Hampshire, in the over 35s and I'm going to take you guys along with me. Let's go. The over 35s County Cup is held once a year across one weekend and hosts 44 counties split into 11 groups. This year we were in group 4A and up against East of Scotland, North Wales and Berkshire. Our team consisted of Captain Tom, who was unable to play due to having a hernia, Tim, Scully, Sai, and Rosh. And on each day, we would play one county in two singles and three doubles matches. What is really cool about the over 35s County Cup format is that we use just one court for all five matches. So when you're playing, your whole team is there watching and supporting. As it was raining in the morning, all matches were postponed from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And with that, all matches would be short sets to four games with no ad scoring. This combined with no warm up time and some crazy wins made for tricky conditions. On day one against the East of Scotland, Tom selected Tim and Scully for the singles matches as they've been on Hampshire's team for the last 10 years and consistently perform well during these singles rubbers. And Tom selected me and Simon to play the two doubles with Rosh stepping in with Scully for the final one. Unfortunately, our singles players both lost to a strong Scottish number one and two before Simon and I headed on for our doubles. So it's the morning of day number two and I'm just taking a stroll down to the tennis club which is about 15 minutes away from the hotel. Um, yesterday wasn't a great day for Team Hampshire. Um, we lost to East of Scotland. My two matches, I played two doubles and I lost in two 10 point tie breaks. But hey ho, today's another day, I'm playing singles today. First on, um, it's gonna be a tough one. The player I'm playing against has got a, a bomb of a serve and um, loves to come into the net. So my focus is on just making a lot of returns at the start of the match, making him play that volley um, and then trying to get it down at his feet, trying to get into the rally. Um, as that's where I'm best, playing at the back of the court. But it is a grass court, so um, yeah, hopefully it's windy again today because I think that could play to my strengths. But yeah, let's see how it goes. After walking to the club, I started my day in the physio room to get a sports massage ready for my singles match. Although I felt great on court yesterday, I got a bit of cramp in the evening, which I wanted to rid. The physio service was incredible. I was seen by Pippa, who was Wimbledon physio for over 35 years. This, along with a special anti-cramp concoction from Roche, and I was ready for action. So quick recap of day two, um, I was first on to play singles and managed to get the win 6-2, 6-4, which I was chuffed with, to be honest, because after yesterday's losses in the doubles, I really, really wanted to contribute to the team, especially with it being my first time at over 35. So um, yeah, chuffed with that, played really well. The guy had a big serve, came into the net a lot. I managed to return very consistently. Um, return percentage was very high, managed to get it low to his feet and he struggled with that, so started to stay back. And when we were both at the baseline, it's uh, is where I like to play. So yeah, really happy with the win. But North Wales are a very good team and they've just won the next three matches. They, they won the singles and the next two doubles. So we have one match left. Uh, I'm currently watching it from a distance and we're winning this one. So it looks like we've taken a 3-2 loss, which means that tomorrow's match against Berkshire is going to be a relegation battle as they've lost their matches as well. Um, really, really tough box to be honest. All four teams are very, very similar. Uh, yesterday's matches could have gone either way um, and today's 3-2 loss could have gone either way because one of the doubles was uh, another third set tie break. Really grateful to Captain Tom for selecting me to play singles. Um, it's where I'm most comfortable to be honest and hopefully he'll select me again to play singles tomorrow after that win but it's going to be twitchy bum time as it's a relegation battle. Now, you may have seen my recent vlog talking about whether I should take my head speeds, your next percepts, or both. Well, I took both, but left my percepts back in the hotel room, as I felt that having only one option would help to avoid any unnecessary doubts. As a part of my usual pre-match routine, I would put an overgrip on my racket before getting into action. And as you can see here, I did it in the beautiful lobby of our old-fashioned hotel. 
So it's the morning of the final day and I must admit my body is feeling it a little bit, uh, particularly in my glutes, my hamstrings, my hip flexors. Um, but I'm first on today, I've been selected to play singles again, which is great. Um, but because I'm first on and they're starting a little bit earlier, I'm starting on court at 10 o'clock. So unfortunately the uh, physio doesn't open until 9.30 so I don't have any time to, to get a massage. Um, but I'll make sure that I'm going to do a lot of stretching before I get on court just to loosen up a bit. Um, to be honest, I'm pretty nervous, which is a good thing. As you guys know, uh, it's good to feel nervous before a match. Um, the reason I'm nervous today, though, is this is the, the last fixture of the weekend and both us and our opponents are fighting to avoid relegation. So the first singles rubber that I'm going to play is going to be vital in getting the team off to a good start. The person I'm playing is unknown at the moment because the team that we're playing against have been mixing their team around a little bit. So um, yeah, I can't really plan too much, but I'm going to get out there. I'm going to give it my all, um, but let's see how it goes. When it came to my singles, I can honestly say that I played some of the best tennis that I've played for many years. The player I was up against was former top 500 in the world as a junior and had ATP points as an adult. The first game I started off serving and it went for at least 20 minutes and I had about 10 break points against me, but I just managed to sneak that game. The second game was just as long and I managed to break him and I honestly think those first two games decided the whole match. My opponent was a really experienced player and figured out quite quickly that his slice cross court to my backhand was winning him points in the first two games. However, I countered that by slicing down the line to his forehand, which every single time forced him to hit onto my forehand, which I could be super aggressive with. I honestly felt that this was the most focused I'd been on court in a long time, and I really do think that having my teammates behind me at the back of the court really helped with that. I managed to win 6-1, 6-2, giving Team Hampshire the lead going into this relegation battle. So, we're currently 2-1 up and we've got Tim and Simon. They can win this match. We stay in the division. If they lose this match, me and Roche have to play a decider, which wouldn't be ideal. Let's go. In the third set tie break, love five. We love that. Six love, let's go. Tim serving, 8-3. Great serve. Not easy to take that drive volley, he's dumped it in the net. 8-4 Hampshire, Tim's serve. Come on. Big pump from Tim. Let's go. Match point. Come on, bro. Game, set, match. Blooming brilliant. <laughs> Honestly, the group that we were in, all four of the teams could have been promoted or relegated. And after a tough couple of days, winning on day three against Berkshire topped off what was an incredible weekend. Managing to stay up in group 4A, I'm super grateful to Tom and my teammates for welcoming me into the team and hope that I did enough to get selected next year so that we could play for promotion. Thanks as always for watching this video guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.